a teacher's pension fund in Canada invested almost $100 million into FTX. So now innocent people who had nothing to do with crypto could see a dent in their retirement. FTX bankruptcy files show 134 affiliate companies across the world. Estimates say that liabilities could be up to $50 billion. For a sense of scale, Enron's liabilities were $23 billion. Fittingly, FTX's new CEO is the former Enron bankruptcy lawyer. The White House would comment on the situation, calling for more regulation. On November 16th, Sam tweeted that he was going to meet regulators to try and repay customers. Comments under the tweet could be summarized as basically, what are you doing? You should be in jail. Meanwhile, Bloomberg reports that US and Bahamian authorities are in talks to bring Sam back to the US for questioning. This will be a test of his political donation money, for sure. As for crypto as a whole, there's now a whole lot of risk and uncertainty. It's going to take a while to see which companies were dangerously tied up with FTX. A lot of firms seem like they were tied up somehow with FTX. FTX, you know, generated uh, an FTT token. Blew, you know, if you trade your own token on your own exchange with wash trading with leverage, you can park the price at any number you want. So you want to make a billion dollars, you jack the price by three bucks by wash trading with yourself. Then you generate a billion dollars of collateral. Then you look for a bank that'll loan you money against the collateral. And of course, nobody in their right mind should be loaning money against an air token that you manipulated yourself. But of course, Sam happened to be the CEO of a bank that made loans. So he applied for a loan from his own bank and he granted it to himself and then he took real assets like Bitcoin from his mm -hmm. honest customers and then he rehypothecated them, traded them, lost them. And so this is just an egregious ethical lapse and it, it can't go on. There might be a deeper aspect at play here in the depths of US politics. Although we can draw nothing conclusive, at the very least, the political lobbying and possible corruption is concerning. Firms making up financial products, taking on huge risk and passing it to others. It's crazy because cryptocurrency was supposed to stop this, but I guess where there's money to be made, you always get bad actors.